right, welcome back guys. Today we're going bourbon hunting in North Charleston with my buddy Drew, who lives around here. And there's like 50 liquor stores in this local area. We're gonna go check some out. See you then. $99 for Eagle Rare, and then we got Buffalo Trace. It's not a bad price for Sazerac Rye. I'm, I'm actually considering that. I told you, this is what I saw the other day. I was like, I should have got you that, because then you would have got the 46 Yeah, and, 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 and the, the private selection. Yeah. For 62 bucks. How much is that foolproof? $3.99. Oh, I can't do that. One thirty for Charlie's batch. The Weller 12, which is the black one, is $3.99. The Pappy is $1,200? $1,200 for the Pappy 12? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I just need to try it. I can't say like I don't like it in a way because I've never tried it. Yeah. But from from what it's priced at, and what some stores price it at, it's just not worth that much. You either like love it or you hate it. I thought it was good. The fourteen at least. And I've never tried it. How much is that? One hundred nine. Yeah, that's that's right, man. Uh, oh, B5, wow. B five B five two three. This is the new one. Who, uh, who selected it? Did, did you go do it? Um, one of my employees. All right, so we just got out of Kusa Liquors over here. We went to two other stores before this, and they were price gouging like crazy. As you saw, the Weller Foolproof, the Pappy, all that was absolute. I mean, even Eagle Rare, $99. Get out of here. Picked up a nice bottle of Heaven Hill. Uh, paid 50 bucks for it. Uh, we saw it at a recent store right before this uh, at 59 so save 10 bucks on a good bottle and, yep. and then i ran into the b523 elijah craig barrel proof for 65 dollars 72 after tax i'm gonna try this with the a123 that i picked up a couple days ago and it's gonna be a really good bottle to have on the shelf on to the next store the hand selected batch of brothers bond Where's it made? In Arkansas. Oh, and it's an MGP product. 80 proof, $41. That's going to be a pass for me. We got a Knob Creek 9 with 120 proof. Obviously, all of your normal stuff. Ooh, Long Branch, but it is missing Matthew McConaughey's name on it. So this is one of the newer bottles. Maker's Mark 46 has changed their labeling on the cast string. What are you looking at? That burning chair? Burning chair, I've never seen yeah. that before. Yeah, it's aged in wine barrels, or the, some of them are. That one is, it says it on there somewhere. But I've tried a lot of their stuff and it's really sweet, but it's good. All right, Clyde Maves, 110 for $58. Uh, the barrel proof, please. The barrel proof is $84.99. Okay, and which number is it? C922, Elijah Craig, barrel proof. I'm proud of this conviction. Okay. They are from Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Uh, the distillery is in Gel House. Okay. That's my second barrel I've done. My Sour regular mash. customer has been asking for it. Sour mash cast strength. That's, Sour mash cast strength. That, that's intriguing. How much is that's this? That is $46.99. Dave Riger, private stock. 
They are first distillery from Kansas City after probation. Yeah, look at that. That is finished in vermouth barrel that no one has done before. A what now? Vermouth barrel. Vermouth, vermouth barrel. Wow. All right, that's super rare and interesting. I've never yes, heard sir. of anybody doing that. Bottle at 127 proof, drinks at 110. Oh, you think so? Oh, I know so. All right. That's how I like to do my barrel mix. I love... I want to be able to enjoy it on the beach. I love the cast strength versions yes, of sir. it, yeah. All right, what else? Napric rye, uh, 115 single barrel. Single barrel, it has ooh. has some caramelly sweet flavors to it. It's, you know, I'm a rye big, really spicy. I'm a spicy big Knob though. Creek fan. Yeah. Uh, I love... I love their 12, their 15, I have their 18, I have the whole lineup. Okay. Um, I don't have a rye though, so I might... Is that a bottle of that that you try? Yeah, I'd love to see what else. Yes, sir. Have There's you know? a wall of chocolate out there. Wall of chocolate. Don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. Just keep... Like, this Anita's Choice is one that's on my list. I've been having a lot of people comment on the videos telling me to pick it up. Because it's go. a local and right. it's just... Anita Heard it's good. That's also a local. Yep. Um, that's actually my best seller in local. Really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. How much is how much is that? Oh. Drew, that might be you all day, man. It's it's too good to pass up, man. It is not at cast strength, it's one or two proof, okay. but it's, I've lined every cast strength I had so far of Yellowstone. Yeah? This is the best thing Really? that I've tried single barrel Yellowstone. It seems like a lot of the stores recently I've went to have had store picks in different versions of their Yellowstone. I think right. Yellowstone's doing a great job getting out in the market right now. Yeah, and I think the TV show is helping a lot. Probably. Yeah. yeah, that is true. I didn't so, think about that. Like, yeah. Yeah, yep. Yeah, it's everywhere, man. No worries. So first up is Yellowstone store pick. We're going in at 102 proof, single barrel though. That's, that's pretty good. Even I have a plastic cup. It was uh, pretty sweet. Not too bad. It, it really smooth. I mean, it's 102 proof. Um, and really easy, really easy sip. Yeah. Sure. Next up, Conviction. 112 proof. The vanilla, dude. Vanilla and honey. Yeah. The honey a lot. It's actually, the honey's going through a lot. 112 it should be hopefully the next one won't be that long yep. i'm looking forward to this one I got a lot of dude that's good that's really good if you get like a mix you get a really good mix the nose on this is fantastic what do you think of the flavors it's awesome it's it's real sweet yeah yeah it's real it tastes sweet how it smells yeah the flavors mm -hmm. yeah that was really but good a lot better all right we got the knob creek 115 here all these have been pretty easy on the nose so far. I mean, it could also be the plastic cup, but... But still, it's... Yeah. That's a good single barrel rye right there. That is as smooth as you can get for 115 proof. Sure. Yeah, that's it's pretty good. What do you think? You tried it? Yeah. It, yeah. It's 115 mm. and a rye, mm -hmm. and the rye spice is, like, pretty mellow. It is. You'd Dang, expect... That's a good bottle, too. You'd expect it to be pretty... Pretty harsh coming from, from Knob rye. Creek. Yeah, I mean, especially Knob Creek, it doesn't specialize in, in rye right, you know? yeah. they did a good job with that yeah that's good yeah all right this is the vermouth finish very smooth at 127 yeah. yeah yeah i mean that's one good. it's like 127 i think is what they said yeah that's good couldn't tell you huh it does dry out though Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, you definitely need like a like a cup of water when you're drinking this. It's cool what they do on the inside of the labels.
So a veteran owned store here in South Carolina with a bunch of store picks laying around. If you're in North Charleston, you need to come check out Packy Pick. Super nice people. And I'll tell you what, they got loads of this sitting around. For how much? $29.99. Antique 107 store pick. All right, Drew is trying the Sagmore. Um, what fiction was the oh. was one of the store picks he had? Yep. And I'd never had it before, so he let us try it, and it was completely different than anything Packy I've ever Pickering. had before. But it was really good. Right. So the ninety-four, like the rest of them. No, oh, one hundred and ten. The only burn comes from the rye spice. That's it. The rest of it is like completely smooth. Like going straight in, it's bourbon, then you get a little rye spice at the end. Other than that, it's really smooth. It's super good. Buffalo Trace single barrel. God, this is a good bottle. The proof on it is the same, 90. That's so, good. That's so smooth. It's oh, really it's good. So good. Like, yeah. yeah, we just jumped from a we just jumped from a rye. We went high and then went back low. Yeah, so this probably like started in the wrong order, but man, this is this is great. Like this is really good. <clears throat> That's different than the bottle at home, isn't it? I know, yeah. And in, in what ways? That one's a lot smoother than my bottle at home for sure. My bottle at home, I feel like, well, let me put it this way. I yeah. left a bottle in my car, so I think the heat kind of ruined it. Yeah. He left it in there for like two weeks. Absolutely. Well, I just, like, I had it, I had it, I had it in my car. And I, was, I was going somewhere to take it, and I put it in the back seat behind my, like, behind my back seat. Completely forgot. I took it back out the other night. Straight ethanol. It just tasted just oh. like ethanol. Yeah. We're gonna do an overview real quick of what we got. Cusol Liquor had a great price on this bottle and bond Heaven Hill. And one of our other stores at Dev Liquors, we got this store pick conviction. Let's see, you can see right there. Uh distilled in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Um he actually went up to the distillery himself and and picked it out himself. It's a cool place. Uh it's it's an old jail. And so that's why it's called Conviction, and they make a really good bottle. It's Sour Mash, Single Barrel, and Cash Drink. I bought the other store pick, which was the Knob Creek. And then after that, I went and got B523, Barrel Proof by Elijah Craig, which I'm going to pair with my A123 that I have at the house. We're going to do a review on this. And then I the ran into pick of the day. something the pick that of the day. I really am passionate about, something that I really enjoy from... December, which was sitting last bottle in the store. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Midwinter's Nice Dram, especially Act 10 Scene 4 for $170, okay? Which is a little bit higher than MSRP for the bottle, but I will say the rarity of it and the price does justify the flavor. If you see it for that, you should definitely grab it. The Knob Creek was about... 60 bucks and then the elijah craig small batch was 72 dollars. so all in all i don't know what that total is i will show it right here and then drew's total is going to be right here it was a great day we had a good time and we only hit like a couple of the stores we ran out of time Charleston. there's there's more to there's more to come there's, there's more, more to come you'll probably see a uh, north charleston part two at some point yeah for sure part so. two is coming Thanks for watching. If you saw anything that we missed, leave a comment down below. Always, I appreciate it if you subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bourbon Hunter out.